What is it? The jungle denies us our passage. What have we done? We? No. I. What's that mean? How are we supposed to get through that? Making an appearance? Our choices are few. Friend? All fear! This is as much for you uh. as it is for me. Uh oh You are ill at ease. The Nethersite troubles you. You've let your eyes betray your heart. Right. What are you doing? <sighs> Soon you will learn. Whoa. We go to seek aid of the Viera who dwell ahead. I bet they'll be glad to see you, after so long. I am unwelcome, an unsought guest in their wood. In the village ahead, you will find her, Yern. Bring her to me. She will know why you call her.
Hey, Mir and Livster, doesn't she? We're here to see her. You will leave at once. It is not allowed for humans to walk on these grounds. We'll go as soon as we see Mir. If you can find her. We're not leaving until you let us see her. Hmm. Fine then. We'll look for her ourselves. I've heard the voice of the wood. She says Mirn is not in the village. Jyote, where has she gone? Why do you ask? The wood tells us where she has gone. Or can you not hear her? You cannot. Your ears are dull from hearing their harsh speech, I think. Viera, who have abandoned the wood, are Viera no longer. Mjern too has left her embrace. And you forsake them in turn? It is the will of the village. Viera must live always with the wood. So is the green word, and so is our law. We'll let you worry about keeping your laws. Just do us a favor and stay out of our way. We'll find her ourselves. Our sister has left the wood and gone west. She wanders warrens among men who hide themselves in clothes of cold iron. Thus to me has the wood spoken. The Viera may begin as part of the wood, but the wood is not the only end we may choose. The same words I heard years ago.
Not bad, Vaughn. Didn't think we'd get any information out of that one. So then, what was she saying about men in the Warren? The Henemagicite mines. Maybe that's what she meant. They lie in Bangor, south of the Osmoran Plain. The entire region is a colony of the Arcadian Empire. There would be soldiers. Is that a problem? Let's move. Fran. Yes? I was wondering what Yote said, you know? About how you said the same thing 50 years ago? Your point? Uh, how old were you again? Nice fun. Oh, surprisingly rude. Try to grow up, please.
was from the Draclaw Laboratory. What were they doing here? Research.
The Magicite. These mines much resemble the ones at Lusu. Of course, Draclor must be searching for new sources of ore. Should the Resistance forces move, the rich veins of Magicite and Bujeba will be forever beyond their grasp. <gasps> is it her? What is this mist? This stench of humes. This stench of power. What's wrong with her? Stay away! Power needy Hume! <gasps> Thank you.
Is it you? When the human soldiers came to the wood, the village took small heed of them. So long as the wood herself is safe from harm, the Viera give little care to goings on beyond her. But in me, an uneasiness stirred. I had to discover why they had come. So you came here hoping to find something out and got yourself caught? You're as foolhardy as your sister. They took me then, and set close beside me a stone. They said its mist would be drawn into me, that the Viera well suited this end. I saw the light coming from the stone, and then... We have seen this. And Leviathan, the mist released from the Dawn Shard, drove me too into such a rage. She was taken not by the Dawn Shard. Manufactured Nethocide. Then that means... Penella, the stone I gave you, do you still carry it with you? Sure. It's right here. <laughs> <gasps> this is a thing more dangerous again than I had imagined. I should never have given it to you. Forgive me, I, I didn't know. I'd always thought of it as sort of a good luck charm. And even if it is dangerous, on Leviathan it kept us safe. There is a place for all things, even danger such as this. I hope you're right about that. I heard the woods whispers. Take it. Lente's tear is a permission. Pass through the wood and leave. To other places go. That cannot be all. I saw it when I left the village. Ivalice is changing. Ivalice is for the Humes. The wood alone is for us. But that is wrong! How can we just hide here in the trees, when all the world outside is on the move? I too wish to live freely. To leave this wood. Do not do this. You must remain away from the Humes. Stay with the wood. Live together with the wood. This is your way. My sister... I am no longer of you. I have discarded wood and village. I won my freedom. Yet my past has been cut away forever. No longer can my ears hear the green word. This solitude you want, Mieren? No, Mien. Only one sister remains to you now. You must forget my existence. <laughs> I am sorry to make you do this. 
She goes against the laws of the wood. I threw down these laws. It is better that I do this. Better I than one who must uphold these laws herself. Listen to the wood's voice for me. I fear... I fear she hates. The wood longs for you, for the child torn from under her boughs. A pleasant lie, that. Be cautious. The wood is jealous of the humes who have taken you. I am miss them now. Am I not?
Ignorem das.
Empires parade down city streets while refugees walk barefoot through the snow. And so I sue for peace, to stop short war and ease their suffering. My father will choose peace. Will he now? You sound sure of yourself. You can never know another, even your father. Don't take it the wrong way, Kay. This crisis would not end were I gone. The Senate hates the very fact that House Solidor exists. By necessity, we must find reason to silence them. Necessity? Ah, yes, necessity. Does that word free you, I wonder? You show no hesitation to solve matters with blood. The sword of House Solidor cannot be left to rust in doubt. It was you, Excellency, who tempered that sword. Is this your idea of vengeance? It is my idea of necessity. <sighs> if we do not act now, it is not only our future you imperil. So, you would dirty your hands to keep his clean. My hands are stained with blood. I see little reason to stay them now. Mm. So they are. And so how solid all lives on.
displeasing? No, my child. I do not sleep. I dream. and I have come. Uh, this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Thrice I might, I could not stop this war alone. Thus I came seeking Lars what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you were still alive, I fear it could only worsen our current situation. Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Graham is, is no more. His life was taken. <sighs> Father. What possible cause could we have to lay hand on our own perception on our 
Chairman Gregoroff as his head. With what dignity remained him, he confessed to the poisoning and passed his own sentence. A viper with many tails. Much of the Senate is culpable. We had no choice but to strip the Senate of authority and assign powers of autocracy to myself until such time as order... Spare me your lies! I see the servant coiled here before me! Trace, you speak too freely. Zagabath! Do not tell me you join in his mama's farce! With Rosaria poised to invade at any moment, our leader must have a free hand. The once great House Solidor is now reduced to myself and my dear brother Larsa. Surely you would not go so far. Vain Solidor! As Judge Magister and upholder of the law, I hereby place you under arrest. You misunderstand. Vane did not make himself autocrat. It was the very Ministry of Law which you serve. Do you see it now, Drace? When you bared your sword at His Excellency, you bared your sword at the law. You wear the mamas motley well, Bergen. Excellency. A hound begging for scraps at the Emperor's table. Would you serve another master, hound? You may fulfill your duty as Judge Magister before us all. She has been tried and found guilty. Your Excellency, I beg you reconsider.
And so House Solidor lives on. the resistance into battle. Vane wants this war, that much is certain. As our ill luck would have it, the man is a military genius. The dreams have told me thus. To reveal yourself would imperil us all. I see war. power at my disposal, perhaps then. It is the Nethesite of which you dream? I require something far greater. To wield power against power. Truly the words of a human child. I am descended from the Dynast King himself. Indeed. Then you have but one choice. Seek you the other power Wraithwall left. Does such a thing exist? Journey across the Paramana Rift to the still shrine of Miriam. There rests the gift he entrusted to the Grand Kiltius of his time. Seek it out. The Sword of Kings can cut through Nethesite. Why he wouldn't trust the power to destroy Nethesite, the instrument of his greatness to another and not to his own progeny, I cannot say. Awaken Hashelia Benagan and take up your sword or your dream will remain but a dream. My dream, too, fades into day.
Thank you.
You should try it on the Dawn Shard. See if it can destroy Nethicide or not. What? He just may be onto something. The Dawn Shard's no use to us, after all. The stone bleeds mist. It has been roused. It fears the sword. The stone is quiet. This is the sword, the Nethysite Destroyer. Should it find its mark? Vaughn! Tell me, did you see him again? I didn't. Not a thing. Not even my brother. Not... not anything.
vagrant princess. Swift as your lust for revenge led you to the Sword of Kings. <sighs> you will surrender it to me. Too late and to their sorrow do those who misplace their trust in gods learn their fate. There it is again. Fran, I don't like the look of that. This mist. He holds a stone. It controls him as it did Mirn. No, no, the power of manufactured nethersite is the power of man. A weapon forged by his wisdom who would challenge the gods themselves. A fitting blade for a true dynast king. Wraithwall did but pretend the title. A cur begging nethersite scraps from his master's table. Evil Lee's hails her true dynast king, Vain Solidor. He shall defy the will of the gods and see the reins of history back in the hands of man. His time is nigh! The new Evil Lee holds no place for the name down Masker. The stain of Wraithwall's blood shall be washed clean from history's wheel.
he set his very bones about with manufactured nethersite. The Grand Kiltius? Wait, what about Larsa? Gone. Spirited away by Judge Cabrant. You okay? my life, this single word to be sure, but I harbor no maundering delusions of valiant grandeur. Vain has our war pavilion jumping at shadows. They favor a preemptive strike, but you, you will convince them otherwise. You will see that they do not start this war. This not do. Forgive me, but my errand here is not yet done. I must wield the Sword of Kings, and with it bring an end to the Dusk Shard. Differences between our two lands will fade before the shared dream of men. My leave, I take. see that the coast is watched as well. No, we go afoot. We'll cross into Arcadia in the Salica Wood. We can reach the wood any number of ways, but the easiest is to head north from Nalbana. There is a hunter's camp just beyond the Salica Wood. The camp sits within Arcadia's borders, so Imperial patrols there should be sparse. Getting that far should be half the fun. Let's be sure we go prepared.
Yeah. Right. 